All right, welcome back to Rad Factory 3D. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change the nozzle on the Ender 3 S1 Pro while you're connected to the Sonic Pad. So, let's get right to it. And be sure to stay till the end to catch all the things I learned along the way. All right, so the first thing you'll need is a new nozzle, a nozzle wrench or a six millimeter socket on a ratchet, and a crescent wrench or a pair of pliers, but I prefer crescent wrench. You need to preheat your nozzle and only the nozzle. So select your nozzle temp here and you don't need to go all the way to 200. You can set this to about 180. And then you want to home your machine and move your print head up to a workable range. So from here, take your print head up. I usually go up by tens. And I usually go up to about 150 on the height. Remove any material you may have in. So from here, your machine is hot. So be extra careful. Remove your nozzle sock. Get your nozzle wrench and your tools. So the way I prefer to get a hold of this is straight up from the bottom. So take your crescent wrench and reach straight up. Get a firm grip on your heater block and make sure you're not coming in contact with the wires on the other side. Slide your nozzle wrench up onto the nozzle and keep a firm grip on your heater block and quick turn. And you want to do this while it's hot. It'll make it a little easier to get the nozzle loose and once you've cracked it from being tight, you can take your wrench off and loosen it all the way with the wrench. To make it easy, you can flip your wrench around, use the other side, to get it out a little faster. Yeah, I'd say it was about time. So, while you had your wrench on your nozzle while it was hot, it probably gave you a thermal runaway error. That's okay. It probably shut down the heat, gave you an error code. Um, all you'll have to do is reheat your machine, but you can actually wait to do that until you've screwed in your new nozzle. Not all the way tight. Start it by hand. Careful not to touch the heater block. And once you're started, use your wrench to finish it up. And before you go too tight, you gotta do a hot turn. So, preheat your nozzle to about 180 degrees again. So, you might have to be a little quick just so you don't get that thermal runaway error again. Grab a hold of your heater block again with your wrench. Make sure you've got a nice firm grip on it. Get your nozzle wrench. Make sure you're all the way on your nozzle. And give it one more good turn gently just so you don't twist the brass end off of the threads and you've just changed your nozzle and the last thing you'll need to do is put your silicone sock back on and if you're quick you can do it by hand be careful not to burn yourself and lastly we'll run a test prim So right off the bat, you'll probably notice better layer lines and detail quality right after you change the nozzle. Um, I change my nozzle once or twice a month probably. I run my machines constantly, so that'll vary a little bit for you. Um, in the future, I plan on making a video on the, the 
duration of brass nozzles, so um, watch out for that. But the main things I learned throughout the first time I did this was um, when you're using a wrench or a pair of pliers, it's best to use a crescent wrench because other pairs of pliers have textures inside the jaws um, and that can actually mar your heater block. And so if you notice, this crescent wrench is real smooth on the inside of the jaws, so it won't mar the heater block, because um, if you do, that could actually affect heat dispersion into the nozzle. So you don't want to do that. Uh, the other thing was, is if you don't perform a hot turn while your nozzle's hot, giving it that one little bit more of a turn, uh, your nozzle could actually potentially come loose during a print, uh, and it can wobble a little bit, it'll negatively affect your print quality, and it can actually contribute to clogs. So definitely watch out for that. Well, thanks for watching. I always have fun making these videos, and uh, hopefully you learned something along the way. If there's anything you think I missed or you'd like to know, please put it down in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Thanks.